we ain't getting younger, okay? For those who drink water, exercise, eat raw, you look amazing. But time ain't on nobody's side, whether you working out or you not working out, except an infant, if they have great parents, okay? Be sure about where you spend your time. Why are you there? Why aren't you there? Be real about the facts. The facts is a lot of y'all bullshit. The facts is a lot of y'all don't want to make better decisions because that would require you to do more for yourself, to be accountable for yourself, to show up possibly by yourself for your betterment. And it sounds scary, but at the same time, do you want to keep doing some shit that you know you could do better just because you don't want to be by yourself or you don't, you want your friends to come or, no, yeah, they offered me that job over there, but I don't know nobody over there. If you don't go get that money and shut the fuck up. So let's talk about the fact that You need to be very particular about where and how you spend your time and be honest about the time that you got to spend. Welcome to She Gets a Pod. (laughs) She holding nothing back. Guck. So y'all know I like a list. So I did a list of stuff to get my thoughts out. This is episode four. This is what I'm doing because it's why it's my show. All right. Number one, (sighs) think about what it will take out of you to go where you're invited or to go to this event or to go to this place or to go to this person's house. Think about what it will take out of you to just be there. Think about how much money you're going to have to pay to be able to be there. Think about who you will see and what emotions that will stir up. And what point would it fulfill for you to be there? Because a lot of y'all be stressed, angry, annoyed because y'all are getting up every day to go somewhere where you don't want to be, where you don't feel fulfilled, where you automatically feel like you're going to go waste your hours of day for not enough money. A lot of y'all be going to your parents' house where you know you don't feel appreciated, you don't feel loved, you don't feel seen, and you don't feel understood for the sake of showing face. And I hope a lot of y'all get to a point where you're just like, fuck it. I don't want to be here, so I'm not going. It's lovely. All right? Number two, watch how much you share with people. I think when it comes to your time, and time is money, and time has much more richness than paper money, than Bitcoin, than your credit card swiping because you have a great credit score. Watch the time you spend with people and how people linger around you to get information, okay? So limit what you share with people. Limit the access people have to you so you can truly see why they're around. So you can truly see why they check in. So you can truly see why y'all spending time together, okay? Number three, stop saying shit you ain't going to do for people. Stop offering your time to people who wouldn't offer that time to you to help you. Like, you already know how I be when people be talking about, you need to kill them with kindness. I know they want to do for you, but you should show up for them. Nah, nah, not I, says the cat. I'm not doing that bullshit. If I can't count on you to come through for me and help, Do not count on me to come through for you. Not because I can't, just because I know you wouldn't. So let's not even go there. 
ask somebody else. What 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 she say? Get somebody else to do it. Number four, if I don't work Monday through Friday, why the fuck should I expect my ability to have everything I need met? Why? Like, it's the audacity of people to think that you can have two able hands, arms, legs, a clear mind. You got enough money to get a pack of cigarettes and sit down and smoke. But you have the audacity after you see me walking in this grocery store with kids to pull your hand out and say, do you have change? If you don't get the fuck up out my face and get the fuck up and find something to do with your day. What I can say? You need to get up, get out, and get something. (laughs) Y'all gotta get up and stop being lazy and do something beneficial with your time and stop begging people who are where they need to be. Stop begging people because they found a way to make it work for them. Stop holding your hands out to get something and put your hands out to give something. At least the homeless people, they don't want to be called homeless now. At least the people who roam the city in New York do something and 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 let you know that money would be appreciated. Like down here, down here in the ATL, they are lazy. Lazy. We're lazy. Okay? They don't want food. They don't want a bottle of water. They want cash money. Okay? And I just, I'm not giving my fucking money to nobody. I will go in, in a store. I've done it plenty of times to buy you food. I will go in this cafe and buy you breakfast, but I'm not giving you money. Okay? Okay. Number five. While you bullshit, just remember your kids are watching, your nephews and your nieces are listening, and those who help you are watching how you bullshit, watching how you can do more, but you choose to do less because you think, oh, I'll just ask them to do this. Oh, I'll just ask them to do that. Oh, if I need X, Y, and Z, I could just... They gonna start telling you no. Y'all have to grow the fuck up and start doing for yourself. Start taking control of your time. Stop lounging around when you know you should be busy making money, making coin, producing something that's going to pay you long term. Stop being lazy and think some great job is just supposed to come find you. Some great opportunity is just going to find you. You have to let people know where you are, how to get in touch with you, what you do, what your abilities are. Time is money because we can buy more time. You could buy more shoes, you could buy more hats, you could buy more cars, you could buy more food, but you can't buy more time, all right? And if you're not a Kardashian, you got one body, okay? Number six, tell people you're not coming at the invite. When they send you that email, say, oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you, but yeah, I'm not going, period. Just so y'all know, a great way to support podcasters is simple. It's about finding out what else they're into. A lot of podcasters are not backed by a major company giving them opportunity after opportunity and giving them millions of dollars. But shouts out to them. For the indie podcasters, the ones that do it from the ground up themselves or with a small team, 
we need support. And the way that we can support a podcaster like myself and others is by finding what else they're into. If you go to shambypodden.com, you will find that I'm also providing help to other people who want to podcast or, you know, fine tune their podcast to figure out how to go ahead and market it on different platforms. Because I truly believe that podcasting is 20% of podcasting, actually physically doing the episode. And the rest is marketing and, and content and research and getting to a new audience while keeping your consistent audience with you. And the way that you can support me is either by buying a book for yourself or someone else that's in podcasting or buying some merch on She Gets It Shop with Teespring. That'll support me. That'll support the show. Dropping a review and letting other people know your thoughts on the podcast, where to find the podcast. Reviewing and sharing a post that I post. A lot of people like to sit and just let me follow this page. That's just not active supporting. That is just like, let me just watch what they're doing. Actively supporting someone is watching them consistently show up and actually reposting and sharing and letting your audience know that, hey, this person over here exists. They're dropping something good. I enjoy it. Check it out for yourself. Every time someone supports me, I appreciate it because you don't have to. I really created this podcast out of nothing, out of thin air. And I'm so glad I'm at 20 seasons. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me. Continue to support. And I'll continue to keep giving you content. Now back to the show. Um, table topic time. Table topics time. Table topics. Stacks of cards that incite discussion or conversation, okay? Let's converse, all right? I have the what would you do stack, you know, had it last season. Gonna do a little bit more this season, you know what I'm saying? First card. If you found $200 at an ATM, would you return it to the bank? No, they can suck a dick. Do you know a lot of the banks in the United States were established and started through slave money and they still think they don't owe black people shit? Suck my left nut. No, I'm not giving them back shit. Come find me. Come find me. Use my code SHAMBYPODDEN in all caps for your own discount. On your own table topic stack from tabletopics.com. Next question. If the food is bad but the service is good, do you leave a tip? Yes, I'm going to leave a tip to the person who served me this bullshit because they didn't cook it, but I'm gonna let the cook know that they need to be fired or that they need to go ahead and go back and training. All right. There's that. Let's get back to the show. Thank you for listening to the show. It will continue. Pump your brakes. But I just like to say, um, one of the best things for me as a podcaster is to see other people's thoughts about something I shared, something I said, um, something I gave. And so the best way to do that for me is by going to your favorite podcast app and making sure you leave a review on the episode that you liked or the podcast itself and give feedback. You can do it on Apple. You can do it on Spotify. You can do it on CastBox. You can do it on Radio Public. You can do it on Good Pods. I love hearing feedback and I would love some new feedback for this new season. Um, I am trying a couple of different things and I really want to focus on what people think and why they keep listening, you know, but keep that in mind. I'll continue the show and let me know what you think. Numero. Numero. Ocho. Yeah, I think that's right. (laughs) Wasting time when you are already familiar with the outcome in the past is on you. It's no longer on that person that's been fucking up. It's no longer on that person that's been 
telling you one thing and not coming through those last three times. It's on you because I don't know why your stupid ass be waiting around to see something different when you ain't never seen different. This person has always shown you they just not going to do right. They not going to come through for you. So why you sit here waiting? Because what you claim you want, you really don't want. Because to you, you still got time to fuck around. You still got time to fuck around and find out. Okay? So stop blaming somebody else for the fact that you don't want to try. All right? You're wasting your time. Number nine, be clear about what your abilities are with your schedule. If you know you're not going to be able to be at X, Y, and Z's track meet at 6 o'clock when you got an appointment at 4.30 and it's rush hour traffic, stop saying, okay, I'm going to come through. You are holding someone's joy hostage. Let them know that, hey, I got a meeting at 4.30. I might not be able to make it, but I'm going to try my best. That, that, it's very simple. I don't know why people like to live in promised land, a promised land of promises that is not coming. Okay? Stop that shit. Let people know the reality of your schedule is I'm busy as fuck. If it's something during the week, I'm probably not going to be able to make it. All right? I'm going to tell you something. I work corporate, but my mood switched from day to day. Okay, yesterday, mm, I could do it. Today, they tried my patience. Today, Ari's daddy tried my patience. Okay? So, I don't want to go nowhere right now. I was going to let the girls go out front of the house, ride the bikes. I don't want to be out there. I don't want to be around nobody right now because I'm irritated. I hate when people call me with half-ass information, getting me all irritated, don't know how to talk to people, don't know the whole story, don't got their shit together, and just assuming shit. Why are you sharing your negative-ass energy over here and you ain't got your shit together? Ugh. Number 10, a lot of people lack being effective with their thoughts, right? Meaning you're not clear about your thoughts. Nobody understands you yet. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. You yelling. You irate. You got a nasty ass attitude. Now I don't even, even want to know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, time will leave you whether you're ready or you're not, okay? Time will leave your ass. So just be prepared, okay? Most moments cannot be duplicated. So if you're going to let your shitty ass attitude ruin a good time, then that's going to be that good time that it was for some people and that shitty ass time for you because you chose to carry that negative ass energy, and that's all I got to say about that. Be concise about your time because time is money. You're not going to get it back. Don't spend a whole year being mad at somebody that don't give a fuck that you mad. Okay? Don't spend 10 years waiting on somebody to get right that don't have no plans of getting right. They didn't make you waste those 10 years. You made a decision to waste those 10 years. Or 15. Or 20. Or 30. Okay, it's a decision to do different. It's a decision not to do different. It's a decision to get the fuck up. It's a decision to sit down and blame everybody else of why you can't. It's a decision to do the research yourself. And it's also a decision to turn around and pay somebody to tell you some shit you could have Googled. All right. So be clear about who got you spending money. Be clear about who got you wasting time. Who got you driving all the way over here when you already knew you was going to be in a shitty mood because you didn't even like being around these people? Who got you in your shit that you in wasting your time? It's probably you. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Think about that. 
Anyway, that's the episode. That's the episode. Said it right. Show talk. Okay. <laughs> Get it out. You said it right. Uh, this is the episode. This is episode four. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did not enjoy yourself, please let me know how by leaving a review. Okay? You could leave a review on Spotify, Apple, CastBox, Good Pods, Radio Public, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Pocket Cast, um, Player FM. I'm trying to think of all of them. <laughs> Just leave me a goddamn review and let me know what you think about She Gets It Pod. I appreciate you. I know I show up twice on Apple. Um, can't fix it. They don't want to fix it, so fuck it. Just leave a review. I'll see it. I'll peep. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for listening to me, Shan, on She Gets a Pod. My name is Shan. <sighs> Find me at shanbepodden.com. Shanbepodden on TikTok, Twitter, IG, and she gets a pod on stereo. I will catch y'all either Monday or Friday. Don't know what date is going to be posted. Why? Because I'm super prepared. So, yeah, I'm not looking at dates right now. But y'all going to get it. <laughs> Bye. This episode's podcast tip is to stop being lazy. Do the research yourself. Do it on your own time. YouTube it. Talk to a podcaster that you admire in their DMs or email them. Be respectable of their time. Um, did I make a word up? I don't know. Uh, and, and, and the crazy thing is most people don't want to pay for the knowledge or do the work. They just want a great podcast to happen if they want a podcast or they want great content to just create itself and they just want to be the ones to tell it first shit don't work like that it's the internet everybody's going to get the information from somewhere you have to figure out what you're going to do with the information everybody has access to that's different okay you cannot get claps when you don't put in the work you cannot get claps when you don't find a way to deliver it artistically okay that's just the shit you gotta do. All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> Damn, she fucking gets it.